Hello, guys. So it's a pleasure to be here talking to you today. My name is Bruno Caserta. I'm 22 years old. I'm an in industrial engineering major from University of Campinas in Brazil. Uh, right now, I'm doing an exchange program for one year here at Yale University. And I decided to come to Yale because throughout my graduation, there was a point that I realized that I needed to learn some skills that only staying in Brazil and uh, only learning from the courses that my major uh, requires in Brazil wouldn't be enough. So when I was looking for where I could go, I started looking for first, where is the best university in the world that I can learn these skills related to, in my case, analytical, leadership, and business skills. So that's why uh, I chose to come to Yale, because first, of the resources that we have here, it's just amazing. It's both like human resources with uh, having, you know, classes with professors that are the most referenced in their fields of, of research in the world. And, you know, you'll you, you have the opportunity to talk to these professors, to uh, making research with them, to asking for their helps in any project that you're doing or student organization or any idea that you have uh, and you want to develop either for, you know, corporate or entrepreneurship purpose, purposes or in research or academic purposes. So first, the human resources here, it's amazing. Second, not only the human resources, but the information, the, the, the sources of information that you have uh, available for you here, it's also amazing. Uh, an example that I, I'd like to give when people ask me, it's about the books in the library, for example. So if there is a book or a document or any case that you want to you, you wanna read and you look for or for it in one of the 14 libraries that they have here at Yale and they don't have this book. So you can apply in the website and then they bring this book from any library uh, of any Ivy League. So for example, if they don't have this book here at Yale, but they have it in Harvard or University of Pennsylvania, you can uh, request it and they're gonna send it to here in less than a week. So both the human resources, the information resources, and also a lot of like news cases, a lot of things that you have available for you here to, to search for. Um, and also like the facilities and the, the like the facilities for doing the projects that you want to do both like personal or research. Another example that I want to, uh, that I like to, to give is the, the seed, which is the center for engineering and innovative, innovative thinking. Uh, so there they have like everything you need since like microchips, uh, like tools, 3D prints, everything, and you just go there and you use it for free whenever you want. And most of that, I think that more than the technical and the theory that you learn from inside the classroom, one of the most valuable things that you you learn from Yale is the ecosystem, the ecosystem that it provides to the students. So the Yale community is is a very international community. So uh, literally, you're going to have like contact and you're going to get to know people from all over the world here in a daily basis. So you learn how to, you know, how to work with people from different backgrounds. You work how to deal with people from different backgrounds. You know how these people think, how they work. So for you that want to be a, a leadership either in the corporate world or in a research field or in a third sector, uh, that want to, you know, do a very big impact in the world, you're going to have to to learn how to deal with not only people from your, like, bubble, from your community, but also people who think different from you, who comes from different backgrounds. So having this very international community helps you to understand, like, it's, I, I'd say that it's like a microcosmos of the world in a way that uh, you have these interactions with people very different people, like either in the groups that you do inside the, the, the classroom, either in the students' organizations, either in the events that they provide to the students, and a lot of those things. And also, finally, the, the, the Brazilian community here is also something that has helped me a lot. So both the undergrad students, the grad students, the professors, the faculty, uh, it's a very 
big community here, the Brazilian community. I would say that probably is one of like the, the biggest uh, communities here. So it helps you feel, you know, a little bit at home uh, when you need to like talk to people also from Brazil, when you need to, you know, uh, ask for help and all those things. They, they provide you with all this, you know, all this, this, this help and this feeling of home that uh, you might need here. Uh, and finally, I think that being in FEO means that you're now uh, among people that will inspire you to, you know, work hard, to look for changes and for impacts that's going to change the world in a good way and start thinking cr critically about matters that and about matters and about how can you solve problems that is going to uh, make a real change in the world. So it's been an astonishing experience. I'm very happy that Unicamp and Yale has this like very tight relationship and partnership. And I wish that it helps. And I wish that this uh, longs as much as it can because uh, having a partnership with one of the, the greatest, the finest universities in Latin America as Unicamp is and one of the finest universities in the world, I think we can, we can have a lot of, uh, uh, results that can help both uh, regions and uh, you know develop talents and develop uh, critical leaders that's gonna not only think about themselves not only about their companies but about the world and the community as a whole so thank you very much it was a pleasure to talk to you today